Hello there, this is Omar from Cisco Tech. On this video, I'll be presenting how to configure LTI transcoder on a key router. Transcoding is a process of converting one voice codec to another. For example, transcoding between G729 and G711 or G711 ULO and G729. The local transcoding interface includes an internal API to access DSP resources. This API bypasses the need for CME configuration and licensing, as well as the use of a skinny client control protocol. Information about LTI transcoders. Internal API are used to access DSP resources for transcoding. Transcoding resources and cube need to be on the same platform. Only DSP fan profile configuration is required. A skinny and CM configuration is not required when used with cube. No TCP socket is open and no registration is used. Also, keep in mind DSP fan profile is associated to a new application type, cube. Now we're ready to start the configuration. Let's begin by entering into the configuration mode of the router. Step 1. Enable DSP fan services under the intended voice card. Step 2. Configure the DSP fan profile. Now we can enter the configuration mode for a DSP farm profile and define the profile. In the example, we use profile 10. Also, we configure the codex the transcoder will support. Step 3. Configure the maximum sessions and the cube application. The command maximum sessions configures maximum session transcoding sessions. It depends on the DSP resources available. Associate the cube application to the profile for the LTI based transcoding. Finally, you will need to start the service engine. Execute show DSP fan profile to verify the transcoder association with the cube. I hope this video has been useful and thank you for watching.